The National Drug Law Enforcement Agency has presented awards to commands and personnel that have distinguished themselves in the war against illicit drug trafficking and use. The chairman of the agency during the award ceremony says that the agency is working with the parliament to ensure the amendment of its current act to add more vigor to efforts aimed at stopping drug trafficking. On this occasion of the eighth edition of the ceremony, we have every reason to be thankful because our performance continuously justifies our conviction in offensive action, war against drug abuse, WADA, and other reforms that we undertook. For our modest efforts, we have received plaudits at home and abroad. What that means is that we have to do more. The reward for work well done is more work. And in our case, we cannot rest on our oars until all the objectives of our mandate are fully achieved. May I remind us that bottom line is a drug-free Nigeria, ensuring that we provide everything necessary to make this work safe, secure, and conducive for everyone working in this agency. The recent promotion of 5,053 officers speaks volumes about our dedication to prompt and timely promotion of officers. We will also be deploying body cameras for the use of our officers on strategic operations for the purpose of ensuring their safety and the integrity of such operations. We are also following up on the amendment to the NDLEA Act, which we hope will be passed soon by the National Assembly and receive the President's assent. That will strengthen our operations and change the dynamics of our welfare. I congratulate 62 officers and 15 commands being honored for outstanding performance. But as I have said in the past, there is room for everyone to be honored. In three and a half years, we have taken down as many as 50 identifiable drug cartels. Some of them important spokes in the wheel of cocaine, heroin and methamphetamine distribution in the country and the global trafficking network. We have seized a huge quantity of illicit drugs and we have convicted record numbers of drug offenders. We have achieved many milestones without soiling our integrity and I expect us to continue on that course. Our core values of integrity, hard work and transparency among others must be respected at all times. We need to continue to justify the trust reposed in us by society and our government, as well as our international partners and governments supporting us across the globe.